Disney has long had an affinity for those who have served in uniform. As a company founded by two brothers who served their country during World War I, that passion for service to country has never wavered. Every day on the Seven Seas Lagoon at the Walt Disney World Resort, Disney salutes veterans with two ferry boats that bear the names of Army and Navy veterans who served their nation and then helped build the parks where magic lives. Behind me is the Admiral Joe Fowler. It's one of our ferry boats here at Walt Disney World that transports our guests to and from the Magic Kingdom many times a day. Named in honor of Navy Rear Admiral Joe Fowler, a Naval Academy graduate who served in World War I and World War II. After his service, he joined Disney and oversaw the construction of Disneyland and then was given the responsibility to plan and build Walt Disney World. We also named a ferry boat in honor of Army Major General Joe Potter. A graduate of West Point who helped plan the D-Day landing and served as the governor of the Panama Canal Zone. He later oversaw construction of the entire infrastructure here at Walt Disney World. Now, five decades later, the resort is in the midst of its incredible 50th anniversary celebration. The legacy of these Disney legends continues today as thousands of heroes work here across the Walt Disney Company. But this weekend, it's a house divided as Army meets Navy on a gridiron in America's game. Go Army, beat Navy. Go Navy, beat Army. Go Army, beat Navy. Go Navy, beat Army. Go Army, beat Navy. Go Navy, beat Army. Beat Navy, beat Army! Regardless who wins, soon both teams will stand shoulder to shoulder in service of our country. We're proud of all of them and all of those who have served in our armed forces. On behalf of the Walt Disney Company, thank you for your service.